OBZ paid 20, Pau paid 5! Holy fucking shit! Oh my god! Yo, the blue man's gone? Uh, yeah, sure. here it looks like we have waga versus mongo okay so i believe the set count or the the set history is very heavily in waga's favor yeah i believe waga tends to win yeah in, in those situations yeah in most situations I've seen. <laughs> they're pretty decent at this video game yeah. here yeah they i believe it's actually kind of insane the vast amount of characters that waga can play consistently at a high level considering the rest of the Idaho Smash City. Like, this person had not played Roy for, I don't even know, an entire week. Shows up at one point, gets top three with Roy. Why not? You know, and then now yeah. they're, they're going back and forth. Wolf, oh, Wolf. Maybe we'll see the Rob today. You know what? It's honestly, he throws darts at a random board with the <laughs> village of characters and finds out who's going to play. It's pretty fantastic. Yeah, and, and not only the breadth of characters, but also, like, the the speed with which he picks them up, it's like, oh, you have a Joker today? Yeah, my day one Joker. Freaking <laughs> uses words. <laughs> I was gonna say shits on you, but then I realized probably shouldn't say that on commentary. <laughs> I was I was told, you know what? It, it as long as it gets the viewers invested, it's not you know. But uh, right here, so Lucas versus the Rob right now. It's kind of an interesting decision for me, honestly, because I know that Waga has a and a Wolf and other characters like that. I feel like. In this situation, it would be a lot easier for Lucas to keep Rob in disadvantage, honestly, mm -hmm. than uh, like something like a wolf, where I think the, uh, Lucas would struggle a little bit more. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I would agree with that. I think it's more of a comfort pick. I mean, I think out of all the characters that Waga plays, he definitely prefers oh. the Rob. Mm -hmm. Even if the matchup is a bit more difficult, it's just it's what he's comfortable doing. True. And you know, you know you're right about that. They actually I think that Rob just recently took him a giant win over Dominique over at the Back and Blood, which is pretty awesome. Remind me who who Dominique is? He's a fantastic Rob uh, main over in Oregon. Oh, okay. Sweet. Really, yeah, really really good. So, representing. Representing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Got him in the robo ditto. It was pretty sweet. <laughs> but Right now, all, it, looked, it looks pretty even. Both players just kind of filling each other out right now. Mongo's been doing pretty well at playing around the top, but... Mm, yeah, catches him trying to get off the top platform. <sighs> the scary place to be against Rob. Yeah, honestly, so many tools to keep you out of the air and <laughs> honestly almost spike you as well. <laughs> okay, but not quite able to hit the down air there. Agreed. <laughs> good point, good point. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like Manga's bringing it back. It's almost even. I mean, this could be even right back up pretty quickly with um, how quickly Lucas can tack on percent. Oh, 100%. Really appreciate the the amazing tech that's been discovered recently by Lucas. I believe that there was a player under the space under his name right now. He did fantastic at, at SmashCon, if you know who I'm referring to. Hmm. Now, there's a couple up-and-coming Lucas mains that are really pushing the character forward. Okay. And it's showing they, he was definitely determined to be the, the lesser of two brothers when it came to Ness <laughs> versus Lucas. <laughs> yeah. This but, is his time to shine. It was the yeah. opposite way in Smash 4, so... Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, but that up-tilt into up-air, yeah, that'll, that'll take that stock there for you. 
Excellent. So right now, if you are, oh, oh boy, if you are Lucas, what are you looking to do in this match particularly? Um. um oh. <laughs> So, not that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you can help it, that's not what you want to do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. I'm learning so much right now. <laughs> yeah, take notes, all you Lucas mains out there. Um, you do not want to get edge guarded. So. I would recommend avoiding that if you could do that. So. <laughs> but honestly, Mongo is getting out of that situation a, a fair amount. Um, versus Rob, it can be really hard to avoid. All the tools that Rob has, and especially Waga piloting him, so... Yeah, absolutely. Pilot him like the the 747 that he is. Man, that is a that is a Boeing set for a destination to the Grand Finals, if I ever saw one. <laughs> True, <laughs> I mean, Pow is out of the way of winners. Yeah. And after this, I don't know who has to play, but he has a winning record versus most people, obviously. Yeah, I think... If, uh, the one thing would be potentially Bluka. I know Bluka's been doing very well against them. Mm. But, you know, I think that a lot of top players, possibly yourself included, are very happy about how that POW match went down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always happy to see uh, some Steves get salty at each other. <laughs> Even though I don't think there was any salt. Oh! Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> true enough, true enough. I might be a little bit salty though if I were Mongo because you get hit by a gyro back air and you're being put in disadvantage. This, oh, this elegant. Oh, no. Oh, that air dodge was definitely not supposed to come out, I don't think. Yeah, so, I mean, we didn't really talk about it, but Mongo's completely switched character. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Getting the read. That wasn't even necessary. He could have up smashed, but he's sending a message either way. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That was absolutely disgusting right now. <laughs> Unfortunate for now. Oh no, oh no! Oh, and we've seen that before. Oh. <laughs> Rob looking absolutely indomitable. The AI taking over the Smash scene right now. Elon it is... Musk warned us. We didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> we should have known, guys. We should have known. Oh man. But absolutely, you, right, okay, there you go. Trap him in that situation with the core, and that's where you want to be for sure. Yeah, really good play by Mongo. You knew he had to make something happen, and. Not a second too late. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, man. Another down tilt confirmed situation. Oh, my word. Oh! And that is such a tough situation to be put in. But yeah. Waga does not let up on the pressure ever. He goes in. <laughs> <laughs> But that, good that, stuff to both players, honestly. It was. It was really good stuff to both players. I appreciated Mongo trying to change up characters, possibly switch mm. strategies to make it a bit more effective. But Waga was just, you're right, the endless aggression was so hard to overcome there. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to even think when you're just getting, you're down tilted and then you're getting side beat. You're like, how did that even happen? Ooh. I don't know where I am. Please, mm. someone help me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard in those situations because a lot of people map out how games are going to go ahead of time in their brain. And so they're looking for situations. But like you said, if you're just being put again in the grinder every single moment, every single second, it's hard for you to process exactly how to get out of that situation. You're right. Mm. About exactly correct. What For you exactly, when you're playing characters such as like your Falcon and everything, and there's a, someone who has endless aggression going up against you, what do you do exactly to, uh, how do you remain mentally there in order to get out of the situation? Honestly, I try to camp him out until I know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I think that can be a good strategy because if you don't understand the um, positions you're being put in necessarily, you kind of want to avoid them. Oh. What was that? I played, I played Tanuki. Oh, okay. 